boys, it's Mr. Schmidt here. In this last video for uh, AP Economics, we're going to look at something called the balance of payments. And so for this last video, I thought we'd kind of uh, free form it, uh, no text this time, just uh, you, me, and a blank uh, board here. So balance of payments. So what is the balance of payments. Well, it is a record of transactions between countries. So every time uh, a something is bought or sold between countries, it is recorded as a transaction in the balance of payments, right? It's a payment, right? It's either going from, say, the U.S. to China or maybe from China to the U.S., as an example. We're going to use those two uh, countries, which we will for uh, this particular video. Now, these transactions get recorded in one of two accounts, okay? So you have the current account and you have the capital. Uh, sometimes you will see this called the uh, financial account, okay? So, in the current account, okay, you are going to have things that add to the account and things that subtract from the account for each country. So we're gonna look at this from the U.S.'s perspective. So we're gonna look at this as the U.S. current account, the U.S. capital account. We could do this for any country. And so what is going to add to the current account and what is going to subtract from it, okay? So what will add to the account, right? And so when we say add here, what we mean is surplus, right? What's going to give it surplus? What's going to add to the account? And the answer is really simple. It's exports, okay? Exports are going to add to the account. Remember, exports when we sell uh, goods and services to another country, right? So why is, why is this going to bring the account to surplus? Because money is going to be coming in to the United States, right? So anytime money is coming into a, a country, it's going to add to their account, right? Either current or capital, depending upon what, the, what was sold to that other country. So in the current account, if you have exports, if you're selling something to another country and money's coming in, that's surplus, now, on the other hand, we'll do a yellow for this. Um, what about what subtracts from a country's current account? What moves it towards deficit or a negative number, right? Surplus is going to be a number, uh, so we'll put number greater than zero. And then for surplus, it's going to be a number uh, less than zero, right? So you're negative. And you might have guessed, for the current account, imports are what uh, subtract from the current account, right? Because money is leaving the country, right? Anytime money is leaving a country, it's going to subtract from the proper account, either current or capital, depending upon what the transaction was. So if it deals with goods and services, imports, exports, that's going to be the current account, right? If it's an export, it will add to the account because money is going to be coming in. Uh, it will be uh, a deficit. It will subtract from the current account if it's an import. So that's the current account side of things. What about the capital or financial account? This is all about financial assets, so like bonds. Not so much stock, um, but bonds is probably the best example of this. There, there are others. Um, anything that's going to give the, the buyer value over time, right? So if a Korean uh, company buys a factory in Ohio, that would go under the capital account because it is going to give that Korean company value over time. So let's make this pretty simple. So what will add or give surplus to the uh, capital account? And this is where we would sell financial assets. 
So if we sell, for example, a bond to someone in China, that is going to add to the capital account. Why? Because money is coming into the country, right? The bond, the asset is going to leave, the IOU, whatever it is going to leave, and the money is coming in. And so it's going to add to the capital account, move it into surplus, a number greater than zero, okay? Now, what is going to subtract from the capital account or move it towards a deficit? And you probably guessed it, it's when we buy financial assets, right? Just like with the current account and, and imports. When we buy financial assets, money is leaving the country. It's being subtracted from the country. And so our capital account gets smaller. It, it goes into deficit. It goes under zero over time. So the current account is all about goods and services. The capital account is all about financial assets. That's the key difference. Now, one incredibly important thing to know about the current and capital accounts or financial accounts. So the current account plus the financial account have to add up to zero, okay? Which means one will always be in surplus, one will always be in deficit. Now, that, now which one is in surplus, which one is in deficit can change over time. But at any one point in time, one account has to be surplus, the other has to be deficit. Now, why is that the case? Well, let's think about this. Let's say the U.S., okay, we have the U.S. and we've got China, okay? Let's take an example where China is going to sell us goods and services, right? We buy a lot of stuff from China, pretty common example, right? So what's going to happen here? I'm going to use red for this. So China is going to send us goods, we'll just say goods, and then we're going to send them money, right, for those goods and services, right? So what would happen to the U.S. current account? Well, it's going to go into deficit or a negative, right? Because why? Money is leaving the United States and going somewhere else, into China. And so our current account is shrinking, it's getting smaller, it's going into deficit, okay? Now, China now has this money, okay? And China can do a lot with this money, but one thing they might do with the money is they might say, hmm, there's some government bonds out in the United States, there's some financial assets in the United States we might want to buy. So be careful with this. I'm going to do this in black, okay? So China, now we've got another little circle here. So China is going to send money to the United States, and the U.S. is going to send them bonds or other financial assets, right? Because China has this money, they're going to want to invest over time, and they might do that with the United States. So the money China got from the uh, exports they sent to the U.S., imports from our perspective, becomes money they use to buy financial assets. So now, from the U.S. perspective, what happened to the financial account? Well, money came into the country because we sent those bonds to China, and it's going to add to the financial account and even out what happened in the current account. That's why they have to add up to zero. If nothing else, just remember this rule and you will be fine. They have to add up to zero. So that's all for this video on the balance of payments. Until next time, have a great day.